Okay, kids, uh, you know, let's cut through the sniveling, self-serving, you know, lame cunt bullshit. Let, let's cut through all the fucking punk politicking, huh? Okay, this is Kickboy Face reporting for Slash Magazine. It's 1979 and, and clearly Darby Crush's band, The Germs, have emerged as the most unpredictable, the most chaotic and the least understood band in the whole Los Angeles punk rock scene. Uh, now, Darby, uh, so many questions, but let's start with this. Everybody around you is now wearing this blue circle armband. Now, what is this fascination with circles? Everything works in circles. Like sometimes you're doing something and a year later, you're back at the same point. You understand? So, circle one is what we're doing right now. Someday we'll probably do circle two. Now, somebody said you're fascists? Yeah, we're fascists, but we're not Nazis. And there's a difference, you know. Like, I can respect Hitler for being a genius, but not for killing off all those innocent people. Somebody give me a beer. A beer, goddammit. Somebody give me a beer. You know, there's films of him giving speeches in Germany, and Americans in the audience, they would start yelling Heil, even though they couldn't even understand what he was talking about. <laughs> Whoever out there thinks it's cool to spit better buy me a beer. Why don't you get your brain fixed? All I want is beer and damage. Personal damage. Everybody's talking about politics and what's going to work and what's not going to work, but none of it's going to work. That's why you have to throw it all away and start over. There's other ways of doing it without overthrowing the government all at once. I mean, you can work from the inside and slowly take over and then throw it all away, but I just think it's stupid to relate performing to politics, because it's never been political to me. And there's all these bands that came out and said we have to be political like the Sex Pistols and that's not what we did. We've tried every form of government, but the only one that'll work is a complete fascist state. But you have to have the right person to lead it. Because if everyone believes in one person, then it'll work. Communism? Communism can never work. So who would be your ideal fascist leader? Me. What was Darby's childhood like? You gotta understand, he never knew his real dad. And his mom had a lot of boyfriends. He talked a lot about this guy, Bob oh, Baker. He said they had fun together. I, I think he had a heart attack or something. His mom was like a character out of a John Waters film. <laughs> Drunk all the time, screamed at him. Just like my mom. <laughs> his older brother died too. He was killed by some pissed off dope dealer. Gave him an intentional overdose. He had a lot of bad stuff happen to him. It is time for man to mark his goal. It is time for man to plant the germ. What did I tell you? His highest hope. Is the will to power. So would you call him brilliant? Frighteningly intelligent. Absolutely. There was this whole little gang of us, and I was like the head person. We do stuff like carry around helter skelter and put X's on our heads and. The rest of the school would get really scared and wanted to have us committed. And inserting that type of individual into a classroom environment was very challenging. I wanted to know what it was like to be the only black kid in a white school. So I dyed my hair blue. And I lost all my friends in one day. I guess there was a few people out there who were like me that saw things differently. But when you do something like that, you have to expect a reaction. But we resolved it the best way we knew how. <laughs> Gave him all A's if he promised never to come back. Of course, he hung out anyway. <laughs> then I remember one day he came by and said we were gonna start a band, and I was like, what? How are we gonna start a band if we don't even have instruments? The same way the Runaways did. They just did it. 
only we're gonna do it better. Here, read my songs. Astrid? Oh my god. These are awesome. I have a five-year plan. For me. For us. Me said he had this five-year plan and that, that after that it would be all over with. Me said crazy things like that all the time. So what is this five-year plan? Well, it's like Bowie said. He got five years. And then what? You'll see. So we made a flyer that said, wanted two untalented girls who don't know how to play the instruments to form a band. <laughs> and that's how we found Terry and Belinda. And Becky. More girls from the valley who came to Hollywood to dirty up. Then Darby made Becky tell her grandma that she had leukemia and that she needed money for treatment. What an asshole. And that's how we bought all the instruments. Darby decided we call ourselves the germ. Because everything starts with the germ. Something about the germ of an idea. We were supposed to be Sophistafuck and the Revlon Spam Queens, but we couldn't afford that many letters on our t-shirt. Well, maybe it's because we played so bad we made everyone sick. <laughs> yeah, this is Keith Boy Face reporting for Slash Magazine. It's uh, 1977, and the Sunset Street now belongs to shitty, boring, piece of shit, disco, and horrifying, a uh, lame cunt rock and roll band. I believe the future belongs to bands such as you, the damned. Get them. I don't want to fuck as many of your women as possible. The germs! Uh, 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 the germs are the best band in yes, the world! Yes, but at, at a time when Leif fucking Garrett and Donna fucking Summer are at the top of the music shot, you must have something to say about the piece of shit music today, no? Fuck, fuck, Collins, fuck, shit. <laughs> <It's so funny. laughs> the germs rule, you suck. Posers. Uh, uh, you have nothing more to say about the pathetic state of American music today? Thank you, Captain. So, what is this fucking germs, man? It's my baby. Here, check it out. Thanks, boy. We have other songs, too. Uh, what the fuck are you waiting for? You should play tonight at your film. Anybody can play. Go, go, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. I think you plug this in here. I can't even play this thing. It doesn't matter, because you look perfect. Hello, sex boys. Oh my god, look. Fuck. You could abuse the shit out of us. I can't do this. You're already doing it, Terry. <laughs> oh, is that a taco? Oh. Uh. Oh, go away, it's not funny. <laughs> this is what you wanted. This is what I wanted? Uh-huh. I take it anywhere, anytime that I can. I'm your fucking son of a stupor man I've got a weapon that's as deadly as life Get off the stage, you silly puff They're too so well trained to <laughs> Fuck you Every day it's the same wet dream A dozen girls are Get on my street Say, day. hey sex that's boy, can hot. you give me you a hand? Need some... Oh my god, that was so much fun. I thought I was gonna puke, but I didn't. I did puke. But you did it. I wanna play again right now. We will. <laughs> hey! That was really hysterical. When's your guys the next show? Oh, probably never. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Pat. Okay, so this was his plan. Say you're a band, advertise, get band members, get instruments, get a rehearsal space, play a gig, and then learn how to play. It's a good plan, right? Okay. Forming, take one. Go. Rip him down, hold me up, tell them that I'm your gun. Pull my trigger, I am bigger than. 
Mr. President's big white house. Listen, he says we're coming out. Infiltration, we're numbing your minds. Concentration, we've done time. Rip them down, hold me up. Tell them that I'm your gun. Pull my trigger, I am bigger than. Over there, the queen, she says, let's stamp them out. Try those two. Now it's time to reinvent ourselves as something completely new. How are we going to learn how to play our instruments? Paul's dead. From now on, I'm Bobby Pin. I don't get it. Bobby Pin, like a Bobby Pin. George's new name is Pat Smear. Oh, yeah. oh that's so it's gross. good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Terry, you have the coolest name. Your new name is Lorna Doom. Oh my god. That is really good. <laughs> uh, Becky, you're dumbhead. Stop, I wanna come up with my own name. Belinda, what's your name? I don't need a name. I'm not going to be in the band. I actually never joined the band. Uh, the thought of being on stage in front of all those people is way too terrifying. <clears throat> Rip them down, hold me up. Tell them that I'm your gun. Pull my trigger. <laughs> It has to be perfect, Lorna. Yeah, it's perfect. I said it's going to be perfect, so it's going to be perfect. Jeez. Lexicon Devil by Darby Crash. Darby Crash, that's, that's him. He's Darby Crash. Empty out your pockets, you don't need to change. I'm giving you the power to rearrange. Together we'll run to the highest prop, tear it down and let it drop. Darby Crash is a genius. Playing it all wrong. Drums are too slow. Bass is too fast. Chords are all wrong. They make it the ending too long. I quit. First of all, that was so good. Secondly, I think he just quit. I did quit for a week. We weren't a joke anymore. And our drummer couldn't be either. So the germs had a drummer thing. Always a fucking drummer thing. The fucking drummer thing. What do you mean a uh, drummer thing? Becky is just. <laughs> okay, you, well, you know how Darby is. What an asshole. Our next drummer was Cliffhanger, this coily dealer we met in the parking lot at the Rainbow. But he went to jail. I heard he got his dick cut off. <laughs> then we got DJ Bone Break, but he was also an ex and the eyes, and Darby said our drummer had to be loyal to the germs. We had the same problem with Mickey Beat because he was also in the weirdos. Fucking drummers. Jeez. Chris Ashford was our first manager. He worked at a record store called Licorice Pizza, and we were always going in there, stealing stuff. Darby would hand out his lyric sheets, and when Chris read them, well, he just knew. Knew what? That he had to be a part of it. Oh, Chris took the tape and got a single press. Chris. First punk rock single in LA history. He put the label on the wrong side and we gave him a ton of shit. Watch out, Chris. <laughs> but he stuck by us. <laughs> Chris took us to the mask, a storage space under a porno theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Some guy named Brendan Mullen cleared it out and started charging people to rehearse there. <laughs> and it just sort of turned into a club somehow. Oh, man, you guys have to destroy everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you do not want to be on this guy's bad side. Yeah, what makes you think so? Because you're not Fleetwood Mac, okay? And you're not the Bee Gees. You're not going to get gigs just anywhere. Except maybe here. Yeah. Then you woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go talk to Brendan. Oh, and Darby, try not to get in any trouble, okay? Sure thing. <laughs> we stole this song for the jams because we like it and because we do it better than them. It's called Sex Boy. <laughs>
I don't put fans in a mask. It's not a club. It's a cooperative art environment for alternative expression. M A S Q U E. That's how you spell it. As in Poe's mask of the Red Death? Even though, of course, punk has nothing to do with Poe. Nobody ever understood what the guy said. We always said he should have like words underneath him, like in one of those foreign films. Punk to me is amateur histrionic entertainment. Medieval folk therapy for teenagers. Right. Right, so anyway, Brendan. This is either the best or the worst thing that I've ever heard. But I had to pack up the car and drive right out to be in the band. Drive out? From Arizona. You drove out all the way from Arizona? That's weird. <laughs> well, I could tell you guys like the same stuff I like. I mean, kraut rock. Avant noise. Oh, like that's real music. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty damn brilliant, if I do say so myself. I mean, you did drive out from Arizona. I mean, that counts for something. Okay, Don. You're a jerk. Outstanding! Now cut your hair, you kraut rock hippie. <laughs> <laughs> the germs. The germs. I heard about that show at the Offenham. They're a joke band, a food fight. And who she thinks gonna clean that up? Me, not you. Hey, Brennan, because of that show at the Orpheum, they're getting a reputation. Man, you could even charge people a couple bucks to watch them play. Charge? To watch the jams. Man, the lead singer, he's brilliant. He's like a Jim Morrison, but for our generation. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, there's two people fucking over there. Ew, gross. Where? Right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're over there. Can I smell like butter? I'm Darby Crash. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. Not these. Let's fuck up these artifacts. They ruined my song. Here. Yeah, let's do that. Well, you understand, of course, my concerns about them destroying my club. Not a scratch, man. I promise. Oh, oh, shit! Hey! Touch me, you fucking jerk! Don't come back. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Where'd you get that? I fucking nabbed it off the back of some poser. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you. I'm um, Rob. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Slash wouldn't print our ad. It said six million Jews can't be wrong. And there's no picture, just a circle. Our family is a circle. And it will be forever. So it was an anti Hitler thing? No. <laughs> it can be taken either way. I've talked to Jewish people who get really upset because you can't really figure out what it means. You should find yourself in our circle. But we don't want to be associated with the whole Nazi thing anyway. When you are inside the circle. We're not doing it on that big of a scale. Just like in our circle of friends. Well, it's easy to be an artistic fascist. All you have to do is to commit to a certain thing and then you... No, it's you not know. like that. It's not like that at all. 
I have a very, very set idea of what I want to get done and how I'm going to do it, and I need people who can help me do it. Uh, how are you going to get those fucking people? They'll show up. They always have before. For some reason, if you find yourself outside the circle, then you're out for good. Germs burn. A circle. Oh. Stings, huh? Oh, the stings really fucking bad. Listen, someday when you're old, like 40, you'll be paying for groceries at a grocery store, and you'll see somebody that has one. And you'll know. Know what? That they were a part of it, too. That really fucking hurt, Darby. You fucking sell out. What is this? Just something to cover expenses. Those lights don't run on Anakin fishnet stockings. Fuck you, capitalist. Oh, God. What's next? A concession stand? But I'm deducting the cost of that night from their take. He's pretty cute, huh? Pretty cute. Hey, give me five dollars for beer. Why, are you into him? No. Are you? Fuck, dude. Now, what are you talking about? So what did you think of Rob? Oh, that little shit? <laughs> I didn't like him from the beginning. I mean, I thought he was cute. I mean, we all did. But 
I guess I just don't like to share. Hey, we're thirsty. Give me some money for beer. Just some water now. We see how he acts around you, too. He digs you. Fuck. Well, my ride fully bailed. There's no way I'm getting south tonight. Darby, you think I can crash your place tonight? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. So where are your parents? My mom works at a restaurant at LAX. My dad, he's, uh, is he dead? I fucking wish my dad was dead. Okay. Why is that? Um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Let's look at that cut. Oh, fuck, man. That's gnarly. Oof, I don't think you need stitches, though. Man, why don't you let me clean it out? You some band-aids and shit? Uh, sure. Uh. Hey, Darby, are these your songs? Yes, some of them. I came into this world like a puzzled panther waiting to be caged. But something stood in the way. I was never quite tamed. I crossed the paths of right and wrong, and I saw them take their toll. I saw armies that marched, and like animals, they crawled. Evolution is a process too slow to save my soul. But I've got this creature on my back, and it just won't let go. Wow. I've never read anything like this before. What, what the fuck? What? What? Uh... I don't know, it's just weird, you know, like... No, it's... It's just relative. Yeah, well, that... That doesn't make it unweird. Forget it. Well, look, man, I'm sorry, I just... Don't worry about it, just... just... Forget it. You're still bleeding. Yeah. You're right. Get some sleep. There's 43 of your closest personal friends on this guest list. 43. I'm never going to beat Mac my nuts. That's who I want. But it's not even a real list. You've got David Bowie on here. I'm taking him off. Wait, hey, he's our biggest fan, OK? And I sent him a letter telling him so, and he believed us. If he's not on the list, I won't play. Put him back. You lads are completely lost your mind. What can we find? Before we can stay, what the hell do I care? I just put David Bowie back on your bloody guest list. Well, why don't we put people on the guest list who are, like, actually going to show up? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Bowie stays on the list, and everybody else stays on the list. Or the germs won't play. Come on, Robbie. Oh, hey, Darby, I was thinking that we could do that song I was telling you about, You Make Me Feel Like Manson. Why don't you just play the germ songs, Donald? Well, I'm not talking to you. Yeah, well, I am talking to you. You're in the coolest fucking band in L.A., dude. You're lucky. Why are you even thinking about playing other band songs, man? Just play Darby's songs. Well, Obviously. This is between me and Darby. You're in the germ style. That's not good enough? You can find another band. How do you know what you're doing? It's not fucking brain surgery. 
Come on, Darby, open up. I want to talk Bathroom's about this. Bathroom's closed. Shit in the street, cactus head. Come on out. Fucking Don. Ready? Ready. You up. Are you okay? Where's my guitar? Where's my guitar? Oh, you fucking stole it. Don't worry about your guitar. The world is full of guitars. There's only one bad smear. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. So I just borrow guitars now. Every time you play. Why, you wanna buy me one? Goes to Hell on KROQ, Pasadena. This is Rodney on the Rock, and I'm thrilled and a little nervous <laughs> to be sitting here with the most notorious band in the LA punk scene, the Germs. Huh? Woohoo! Yeah. What do you guys play? Well, I play hard to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, what's your name? My name's Ben Wobbles. <laughs> did you change your name? Yeah, we all did. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Bingenheimer, I'm uh, Don Summers. I'm Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm Art Damage. <laughs> no more Pat Smear? Are you serious? Oh, and my name is... Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. 
you know, when I told people you guys were coming to the studio, they almost fainted. Are you really as wild? As yeah, we have our that? axes in the car, and we can get them if you want. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so uh, when, when can we see you guys play again? Well, we are playing tonight. We're uh, playing at... <laughs> all night long. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, uh, probably never. Nobody wants to book us. And all the club owners think we're going to destroy their clubs. Well, it sounds like you need a good manager. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Uh, attention listeners, if anyone wants to be our manager, <laughs> please bring a case of beer down to the studio immediately. Yeah, yeah, bring some food, too. And a veggie burger. Oh, and hard drugs. Yeah, so that's uh, food and tab for Rodney and hard drugs for us. Wow. And little boys for me. Yeah, breaded and pan fried with really big. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Um... Hey, let's take some calls. Huh? Okay. Um, you're on Rodney on the Rock with the germs. Oh, Rocker, suck my hey, shit. Um, oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Next caller. Um, hello? You guys are really obnoxious. Well, another satisfied customer. You don't have to be obnoxious to be punk. The plugs are not obnoxious. Yeah, well, not punk either. They're... Fuck off. <laughs> Look, I actually... Oh, Rocker, um, suck ten-inch cock. Oh, you Ooh. wish, faggot. Oh, no, don't do that. We're on Rodney on the Rock with the germs. Who's this? I want to talk to Pat. He's right ah, here. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, it's that girl with the flat chest. I don't have a flat chest. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Fuck you last night, twice tomorrow. <laughs> uh, actually, no. Um, the the FG, FCC, <laughs> the... Um, you know, the communications people, you can't... Um, they said fuck on the Brady Bunch. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but it's the license that they'll, the government will take it away from Wait, us. Didn't they say the C-word on Gilligan's Island? Wait, don't, don't, right, don't. Darby? The C-word? C-word on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> so please don't... Oh, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> they said cunt on Gilligan's <laughs> Island? No way. God, no. <laughs> Trouble. Take another call. Oh, I'd like a cunt. Oh, yeah, cunt call. Oh. Let's oh. take another caller, Rodney. <laughs> I was born from a... Maybe they'll... <laughs> maybe they'll, <laughs> maybe they'll <laughs> Well, the bands that we're all supposed to hate, like The Who and The Stones and people like that, I mean, they went out and they lived on the streets and did everything they could to make it. But all the people that live at the Canterbury, they work at Fiorucci's because they know they might not make it as a band. None of them are willing to take the chance that they're going to be 35 and have done nothing. None of us work because if we don't make it at this, we know we're not going to make it at anything. We're not going to have any money to pay our rent. I'm a loader with the loader, I'm gonna have to phone her. I'm a loader with the loader, I'm gonna have to phone her. I'm a loader with the loader, I'm gonna have to phone her. Hitler used to have his architects make two models of the same building. One to see what it would look like when it was being built, and the other after it was destroyed. That's trippy. <laughs> We're going to make an album. A full-length album. An album? Mm hmm Record companies don't want us. They want disco. Then we'll make it ourselves. And we'll have Slash Magazine put up the money for it. Did Big say he'd do it? He will. <laughs> the Germs have decided to do their album on Slash Records. Slash Records. Yeah. <laughs> Slash Records doesn't even exist. We want Bowie to produce. That is a fucking great idea. Or Mark Lindsay. Mark Lindsay. From Paul Revere and the Raiders? <laughs> that guy makes more money in an hour than I'll see in a lifetime. Why don't we just produce ourselves, you guys? Just shut up, Cactus Head. <laughs> hey, what about Roy Thomas Baker? Okay. We want either Bowie, Lindsay, or Roy Thomas Baker, or we're not gonna do it. Look, I'm like a huge Germs fan, all right? So I'm just gonna be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of starting a record label. But if I do, I'd do an album with X. Why X? Oh, I don't know, because they have real songs. Real songs? Bob, you sound exactly like the fat pig record company conglomerate Fox. Fuck that capitalist bullshit. Oh, yeah. Fuck everything until next week when I have to cut your paycheck. Yeah, and then you love the fact that I dumped all our money down the drain on an album that won't make any money. What about Joan Jack? She's my nice. Joan Jack? Hello, is anybody here listening to what I'm saying? This simply isn't going to happen.
steak sounds awesome. <clears throat> I still think Don's drones are too slow. Hey, fuck off, Bobbert. Played it the way we always play it. Have you been to the Fleetwood? The new bands play louder, harder, faster. Yeah, well, that's because they're cheating. They play Oompa Loompa polka beats. They suck. I don't know. What do you think, Darby? Maybe we should have Don redo the drums. Well, I guess I know who's wearing the pink hanky in this family. Shut the fuck up, Don. Was I playing too slow? No, you were the perfect. Sir. Um, I, D Don was right on. I mean... I know whether or not it was right. We're doing it again. Okay, we'll do it again. Fuck. From the moment I first saw the germs, I said to myself, Biggs, you gotta make an album with these guys. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I heard it. All right, now that it's done, I gotta tell you, I'm more proud of this than anything I've ever done in my entire life. That's not serious. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got a review here by Richard Meltzer. Listen, this is coming out in the LA Times tomorrow. This valuable piece of vinyl is one, the album of the year, two, the most staggering recorded statement so far from the American branch of New Wave, <laughs> and three, the most remarkable LA studio achievement at least since The Doors' LA Woman. I'll give you the to you. I don't need the Doors. All right, you guys, come on, there's food, there's beer, everyone, eat up, drink up, it's a party. Yeah, go. Enjoy yourselves, come on. I mean, come on, you cheap motherfucker. You could have at least bought them some real fucking beer. And encourage these people to stick around and get drunk? Are you mad? I fear so, yes. My mother was mad. My grandfather, my great grandfather. <laughs> but you know, it's all in the family. Okay, it's, uh, you know, it's regular mad. It's not crazy mad, but it's really, really mad. Explain the difference. Flashed in by food? This is the worst oh. thing I've ever seen. Yeah, well, they're practically broke, and they only have like 37 cents in their account, so. Well, I can buy you food, Darby. And beer, and hard drugs. Sure, Darby. Anything else? That's when the march started. What fucking march? The march of the creeps. He grew up with a very narrow worldview, and I'm opening up his mind. I took him to the opera, which. I hated, but he loved. Fuck Amber. She buys whatever he wants. Most of it with bad checks. We'll go to stores and they'll see her coming and they'll lock the door. I bought him a huge $750 thesaurus because he loves words so much. Ugh, fucking gross. She's a sociopath. And a bitch. Hey, give me a note to dog, Amber. <laughs> give Robbie one, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me. Who else wants an okie dog? Oh, me and Jenna. Yeah, okie dog. Hold the cat. Lorna, Michelle, Melissa. Two, two each. each. Yeah, two, two each. Please. What? Amber, none of us have any money, and we're all hungry. And Robbie here, he hasn't eaten in, like, two days. It's been longer than that. <laughs> Okay, who wants chili and cheese? Oh, oh, I, 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 what about fries? Oh, fries? I, 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 I mean, a veggie burger as well? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, she's so gross. Fat cow. Fat cow with a trust fund. Hurry your shit up, man. Uh, you have been accused of having groupies. Well, they call them groupies. They're not groupies. I mean, once you've talked to somebody for like three weeks and they cease to be a groupie, they become your friend. I guess if somebody comes up to you and, and says, hey, you're great, and you talk to them and stuff, and then you go home with them, well, then okay, then they're a groupie. But, you know, once you drive around with them and you go here and there, and they're a friend. So we don't have any groupies because they all become our friends. Hey, she want to do this. I don't want to be a junkie, Darby. You could be what you want to be. You know what I really want to be? More than anything? What? A drummer for the germs. Dude, that would fucking rule.
was worse than scary. It was like a riot. Baby monsters, that's all they are. It's my people. <laughs> it's not funny, it's ugly. Is this what we've wanted? Is it? We're gonna get banned everywhere. We're not gonna be able to play anywhere. No wonder Dom's starting with their band. What band? Oh shit, you didn't hear? Well, it's a joke band, it's stupid. It's called Vox Pops. When he sings, he plays guitar, he wears a dress. It's stupid. He wears a dress? Well, I got a lump on you! That's the drummer for the germs. <laughs> what a fag. <laughs> what a fag. Fuck you, Robbie. Fuck me. I'm not the one who just flashed the audience. Hey, Darby. Hi, I'm uh, Penelope Spiris. I'm doing a documentary on the scene. It's called The Decline of Western Civilization. And I really want to film one of your performances. When are you playing again? Never. <laughs> Been banned from every club in LA. Every club in LA? Mm hmm, pretty much. Then I'll rent a place. Which clubs have you been banned from so far? The Whiskey. The Fleetwood. Club 88. Hong Kong. The Hong Kong. The Rock Corporation. <laughs> the Rock Corporation. Yeah, and them too. Every club, really. <laughs> so everyone loves the album, thinks it's great, wants to see us. But we can't book shows. It's so us. It fucking sucks. It's so us. Dude, I thought we agreed we weren't going to get high. <laughs> We aren't getting high, Pat. I am. So is that what we're doing now? It's what people expect. It's what they want. Should I get high, too? No. Oh, just... Go away. Go away? Now. Now. Mm. Where the hell did I put my drumsticks? Probably next to your dress, Tom. It's just a joke band, Darby. No big deal, right? Hey, is that speed? Go, Don! so loaded when you perform. That way I don't feel myself getting hurt.
Bien, Darby. You've been banned from uh, every club in L.A. We got a gig, it's GI. It stands for Germs Incognito. But don't tell anybody, it's us. You don't think everybody's gonna fucking figure it out? <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be done playing before anybody figures it out. Sure you booked a few gigs. That's the agent's job. But as of right now, I'm Darby's manager. And that means that I handle all the business affairs. And that means that you work for me. Work for you? All you do is buy Darby's dope. Look, if it wasn't for me, he'd buy it off the street and pass out and get hit by a car or something. Hit by a car, by a car. Do you have any idea of the hoops that I had to jump through just to get them this gig? Hey, well, I... has anybody seen Gaza? He said he was gonna loan me his guitar, but I can't find him anywhere. What about Don? Don's not here? All right, I'll keep looking. Well, if you are the manager, you are doing one hell of a job. This band, this band is in a total disarray. I'm doing a hell of a job. You've been managing the band. Yes, I yes, have been managing. Come on now, drummer, no drummer. Excuse me. Yes, I have been managing the band, and I'm going to continue managing this band, and I don't need any help managing this band. Everybody here knows that you're not the manager except <laughs> you. What's wrong with you? G.I. has to go on now. You need more time. You don't understand. Our <laughs> drummer's not here yet. Those kids out there gonna riot if somebody doesn't go on. We can't play without a drummer. Five more minutes, then I'm pulling the plug. I'll play drums. You know how to play drums. Yes, I do. I've been practicing. Now look at me. You know I want this. I've always wanted this. Well, maybe you should play the drums. Down, Darby. Yeah. Hey, I found one. Where's Don? Doesn't matter. Don's out. Robbie's in. Let's go, Robbie. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. Rodney Beenheimer, Rodney yeah. on the rock. And now, from the garage of West LA, the fucking drummers. The most famous sunset trip is the drums. Yeah. I'm the germs drummer. Drummer's on stage. Fuck him. Count it off, bro. Oh, what up? It's not the germs drummer. It's fucking Rob. I'm the germs drummer and I'm late. Like, where I can pass it. We're outside. No, I'm not gonna wait outside. Count it off so we can start the song together. Excuse me. What's going on here? I'm playing the drums tonight. Isn't that right, Darby? Get off the stage, Robbie. It's fine. Get off the stage, hey, asshole. Get off the stage, asshole. Oh, no, no, no. Tell me, my brethren, if the goal be lacking to humanity, is not humanity itself lacking? It is time for man to mark his goal. It is time for man to plant the germ of his highest hope. Uh, yeah. uh. Germ, huh? <laughs> you fucking know I do, man. Well, great. You're a germ. Have fun.
Ivy, I went over to Lucky's house to get some speed, and he wasn't there, so I broke in. But I found these. This here is crystal meth, and this one here is MDMA. But this one, I don't know, it's no fucking label, so. Wait a second. No label. No. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> oh, man. Darby, no, 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 no. You don't even know what that shit is. Get up. Are you serious? You want to fucking kill yourself, huh? It's just ketamine. Faggots use this stuff when they get fist fucked to make their assholes open. And no one's ever died of a loose ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking laugh, Darby. I'm not gonna stand by here and watch you kill yourself. Is this the big plan? The big five year plan right here, right now? Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. I just made Robbie the drummer for the Germans. We can't play with Rob. I know. Oh, so you're not just killing yourself, you're killing our band. Darby, the Germs are the only thing any of us have ever really the cared about. The Germs are dead, Pat. And you know that. I mean, we can't even get any gigs anymore. We, we can't even go on stage without starting a riot. So? So what are we supposed to do now? I'm going to London. With Amber. London with Amber? And when I get back, everything is going to be different. Because I know what I'm doing, Pat. The Germs on KROQ. And now I am really excited because I have Darby Crash on the nice. phone calling from England. What's going on, Darby? Six in the morning out here. Wow, that's pretty cool. So you've seen lots of shows? Well, I saw the Go-Go's the other night. Oh, yeah? And Black Hearts. And I went and saw the Body Snatchers. The Go-Go's, man. Hey, remember when Belinda was in the Germs? Yeah, it's kind of weird coming all the way to England seeing Hollywood bands. You know, everybody says punk is dead, but it's bigger than ever. The only man that I've seen that's any good, though, is Adam and the Ants. Everybody here is really into the Ants. Adam and the Ants? Wow. Weird. Well, when are you coming home? Well, it depends on how long I can get by with the money we've got. If anybody wants to send any money, they can do it through Lana or Michelle. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. All right, well, thanks for calling all the way from England. Bye, Darby. Bye, Rodney. Yeah, call again. Bye, everybody. All right. That was Darby Crash on the world famous KROQ Rock of the 80s. Now, we're gonna play a song called World of My Ass by the Circle Jerk. to our apartment so we could take care of him. And we had so much fun. Mm. We would have these dinner parties. He was really into wine tasting. Mm. He was into wine tasting and dope. I was into butt fucking. <laughs> and dope. You're such a romantic. It's true. <laughs> this is a good place, huh? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Look at that mohawk. Mohican. Oh, what's the difference? I'm starting a new band, man. And I've auditioned, I don't know, over what, 30 guitar players, and they, they all pretend to be you, so I just figured I might as well have you. Gee, thanks. It's really important to me, Pat. Can Lorna play? No. Well, what about Don? I mean, Don was a perfect fit for us. I don't know, Darby. I don't know. I mean, we were good. We got really good. Don't you want to play with me, Pat? Of course, you know that. Of course I do. Hmm. Good. Let's start practicing immediately. We have a gig next week. Next week? We'll pull it off. And we always pull it off. So Amber, uh, nobody understands why the, why the drums broke up. Well, boy, they couldn't get shows anymore. It's Pat's fault, basically. Pat has a problem with violence, and Darby simply got fed but, up. But, but Pat is in the new band. Uh, why would Darby be fed up with Pat? And what about Lorna? Where is Lorna? I'm not at liberty to discuss internal band policy. Oh, you're not at liberty. But then maybe I'll ask Darby. Darby's not speaking with the press right now. The press? I'm not the fucking press. I'm fucking Kid Boy, you cunt. No press. No pictures, no interviews. Fuck you. Now, I've imposed a strict clampdown on all oh, well, media. I've imposed a strict clampdown on your fucking mouth. Okay, okay bring yeah. it on. Yeah, you'll never be in Slash fucking magazine, Amber. Yeah. This is going to be up your fucking ass. Oh, and good. I'm going to you know be what? recording I'm gonna, it. I'm going to like it. it. I'm done your oh, good. You know what? I like it. Fuck you. the starwood and Darby's not wasted we have a new policy we only take drugs under thinking conditions okay you're obviously not used to professional management Without a doubt, that was the best show ever, Darby.
Much better than any germ show. A nice outfit, Darby. Yeah? How'd it feel to be the drummer for the germs? <laughs> Fuck the germs. Have some feathers. Fuck your feathers, man. Fuck Stop you. It. Hey, Robbie! Hey. You wanna fuck with someone? Come on, Lorna, fight Lorna. with me. Stop Come on, it, fuck with me. Stop it. Yeah. You wanna fight? Come on. Just, just Come on. Just walk away, Robbie. Walk away. Sean, dude. Come on. You all right, Darby? I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with Lorna, do. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't worry about it. We'll work it out, we'll get it right. We just need some time to write new songs. I'm out of time, Pat. I wanna have a Germs farewell show. With all of us. Everybody, including Don. <laughs> I love the Germs, you know that. Lorna? He just knew I'd say yes. I always said yes. Uh, everybody always said yes. How could I say no to him? Oh my god. It's a Hagstrom. Brand new. Costs 125 bucks at Guitar Center. I can't believe you bought a new guitar. I've been saving. <laughs> it even has that new guitar smell. I figured since it's our last germ show, might as well buy a new guitar. Amazing. <laughs> Listen. Listen. This is for the people who wanted to know what it was like when we were around. But this is the only one. You're not gonna see this again. So I want the people that care, that care what it was like, that it meant something to be inside of here. And we'll play for you. And you can come up here, and you, and you can play with us. We will make it like it was. So let's do it, let's go.
Absolutely. I want to play again right now. <laughs> You're Lorna Doom. So whatever happens, no one can take that away from you. Everybody's going to Okita. Come to Okita. Tonight, Tommy. It's freezing and I'm tired and you know I don't go out anymore, so. I'm not going. Take it. I don't need it anymore. What are you doing? Show, best one yet. I mean, no dark crash band, but you know, what Don. Back. It wouldn't have been the germs without you. Thanks. <laughs> that was awesome. Shit. Yeah. Going to Okie Dog. It's a big party there. Please come, Pat. Yeah. Oh, well, me and Jenna were gonna go home and watch TV. We're tired. Oh, okay. Cool. We'll do it next time. Bye. Okay. I love those who do not know how to live except in perishing, for they are those that go beyond. I love the great despisers because they are the great adorers. They are arrows longing for the other shore. I love those who do not seek beyond the stars for a reason to perish and be sacrificed, but who sacrifice themselves to Earth in order that Earth may someday become Superman's. Tell me, my brethren, if the goal be lacking to humanity, is not humanity itself lacking? It is time for man to mark his goal. It is time for man to plant the germ of his highest hope. There's this huge party up on Mulholland, and some rich chick, her dad's an actor or something. We should go. I'm gonna kill myself tonight. You know, I've been trying to do stuff like for a really long time. Like, um, oh, 15, 20 years. <laughs> but, um, I keep fucking up. And things don't get any better. Let's do it. Huh? In my parents' pool house. No one will know we're there. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Pushing through the market square. How do you know how much to use? So many mothers sighing. Spread quickly. Use Within just minutes, come over. fans, the curious, and reporters are in This is unbelievable. This guy wept and told us. Uh, what's really
nearly dying. <laughs> Cried so much his face was wet. Then I knew he was not lying. John Lennon. I heard telephone. Was brought to the emergency room. room. He was dead on arrival. Hey. <laughs> Did you hear? Yeah, I'm, wa I'm watching it right now. Yeah, I want to know what Darby thinks. I think I saw you in an ice cream parlor Drinking milkshakes cold and long Smiling and waving and looking so fine Don't think you knew you were in the Darby, you think I'm still alive? Once told me that we were going to be more important than the Beatles. And the thought of more, and I wanted to get back there, your face, your race. He did it. The way that you talk, I kiss you, you're beautiful. I want you to walk. We got five years stuck on my five years. What a surprise we got five years. someone stalk and kill John Lennon and why now when Lennon was just coming out of five years of seclusion almost immediately a vigil of stunned fans singing songs in Lennon's memory. There's all these people here I feel like the 80s have forgotten. It was at the Dakota where the Lennons decided to break their silence and record their new album Double Fantasy. The fantasy and the peace ended violently in the Dakota. Astrid was from a planet blue. He spoke of love for me and you. He could set your mind ablaze with sparkling eyes and visionary gaze. He stood like a remnant from outbreak past, wore something in his ear, and boy, he was sass. Had hair like a rocket's nest, but when he cheered, he gave his best. He made a noise that stirred our souls, got us moving out of control. When Astrid moved, we changed our tunes. They filled his arms with needles bare, shot him up and cut his hair, tied him to an evil plot, told the kids that he was not their man. He gave us life and dealt us love, sold us out for the great above. On a starry night in mid-December, Astrid died, you might remember. Live it to the end, share it with a friend, deny me not, I'll be with you in your thoughts, beyond. Everything works in circles. Like sometimes you're doing something and a year later, you're back at the same point. You understand that? So circle one is what we're doing right now. 
someday, and we'll probably do Circle 2. Time takes a cigarette Puts it in your mouth Pull on your finger, then another finger, then a cigarette. The water wall is calling, it lingers, then you forget. Oh, 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 you're a rock and roll suicide. You're too old to lose it, too young to choose it. And the clock waits so patiently on your song You walk past the cafe that you don't eat when you've lived too long Oh no, 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 you're a rock and roll suicide Shit breaks the snarling as you stumble across the road But the day breaks instead, so you hurry home Don't let the sun blast your shadow Don't let the milk float grab your mind They're so natural, religiously 